If you're looking for a kind of a mid-price, all-in-one video conferencing solution for your office or for any kind of hybrid meetings that you're doing, then this eMeet meeting capsule is pretty amazing and has some of the coolest tech I've seen in a video conferencing solution to date. <laughs> So it's quite a simple setup and so simple that the manual is like three pages long. Like there's not a lot to it. And yet the button, you know, there's lots of buttons for a manual that only has, you know, a few pages, but I'm here to help you uh, figure it out because I have played with this and I'm going to do a little demo and I'll show you how to set it up on your Mac to make it work. Because when you first get these, you're like, I don't know, is, is that it? Is that, is that what we, we put there? And, and, and we just like, we just power it up and then we somehow magically send it a Google Meet or a team meeting or a Zoom meeting and it just kind of like, boo, comes to life and yay. Yeah, no, so this does still need to be powered by something and I'll demonstrate that to you soon. So what comes in the box? A USB-C cable. Now, I was a bit embarrassed when we were trialing this because I was like, oh no, it's a USB-A to USB-C and, and, and I, I have a USB-C to USB-C. Uh, but it's a, it's an adapter, so uh, the cable comes with a built-in adapter, whether you have an older laptop with USB-A, or if you have USB-C to USB-C, um, you can make all that happen. Uh, it comes with a power adapter. Uh, the uh, cable, this cable is about, uh, th about three meters long, maybe just shy, um, so it can reach quite a, a decent distance. You get the remote control with batteries, all included, ready to go. You get the manual, which is multilingual, and you get the eMeet capsule. Now, we uh, have been using the eMeet speakers uh, at the office for a long time, and uh, they're really good. They're really good. Th this is better though. The audio on this is definitely better. So let me give you a quick tour of it and then we'll set it up and then we can fake a call with it. And I'm, I'm going to try and be at least three people at once in the room and trick the e-meet into showing you how cool it is. Okay, so the camera, if you, if you can't see there, is kind of face down. Uh, but that is the camera and that will come to life when we power it up. On the side here, We've got um, all of the uh, the things. It's got like a you know like a lock, like it's Kensington lock. If you're out in public and you're trying to um, secure something, or if you just don't trust the people you work with, uh, this is a power um, socket, of course. That is the uh, the the link out and the USB out. So if you want to link another microphone unit to it, then you can plug it in there, and of course, uh, EMI sell the microphone that you can link to. So you could have this down one end of your 20 foot boardroom with your mates all there looking cool. And then you could run that microphone all the way down so that those guys at the end also have really good audio. But this was really great around about a six to eight person table, just the way it is. Now the buttons are the mode button at the top. I'll explain more about that. You have got the a total privacy mode, which kind of looks like it does now. Uh, which is a kind of shutdown, and then you just have a, a microphone mute and unmute option there, um, which you can just press. So those are soft buttons, click, 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 and those are obviously the inputs, and that is really it. Now, you can have it on the desk, or you could mount it on a stand, so you could stick it on something like this, which would be a bit ridiculous, or if you're like in a, in a big boardroom or something, then you could put it on a full tripod. It's not the lightest unit, like you could probably use it yeah it, it's just it's not that light no you wouldn't use it for a rugby ball or or anything like that so what we'll do now is I'll show you just quickly how to connect it to your Mac so that it sees this as the mic and speakers and then I'm gonna kind of like fake it into thinking that I'm a few people and it's gonna be a bit ridiculous and I'll probably put it on the stand here and then I'm probably gonna run around it really quickly and talk so if you want a good laugh hang around but for now let's just set it up on the Mac. So with the uh, eMeet capsule, you still have to obviously connect this into something that's going to connect to the call that you're doing, which is, you know, going to be your laptop nine times out of 10, or if your conference room has a computer, then you can just plug into that. But generally what you'll do is you'll have this on your boardroom or your conference room table. You'll come in with a laptop or you'll have a computer there. You'll turn it on or you'll plug it in and then you'll dial up the meeting on, you know, whatever device you've got and then this will become the camera and the speakers for that call. And so 
Um, you could have a TV at the end, so you're, you know, you put the visuals up on the TV and then run the mic and uh, thing through this. So you do still need a PC or a Mac to run the meeting itself. And this piece of hardware is really just for the camera and the speakers. And a lot of you probably already know that, but it, it, it can be confusing with these because it looks like they should just run themselves, right? So I've got it plugged in into my MacBook and I've got the power set up. So we'll jump over here and this is where you will choose this to be your mic and your speakers. So you just go in your Mac up to system settings and then you'll come down and you'll find sound. And then so for the output, we're going to choose the E-Meet Meeting Capsule. And for input, we're also going to choose the E-Meet Meeting Capsule. So that input level there is now using this device here to um, kind of pull in that audio. And so now we're set to go. All we have to do is set up our conference call. So before we do in the call, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough on the remote. So the remote is, is pretty crucial to using this um, well. So you've got a, a mute button at the top of it. So if I can get all of these. You've got your up, down, left, and right. Uh, now this button changes the mode. This button goes into full privacy mode. This button turns the camera off. This button is about sensitivity. This button, I'll show you what this button does in a little bit. And this button here is a zoom button. And then you've kind of got the up and down on that. So if you're on a call, rather than like faffing around with the buttons, which they're not all there anyway, you're gonna need this to be like super cool and just be like click and then change modes or go privacy mode or, you know, stuff like that. And the last thing I'll say about the hardware is that it's got these pretty lights on the front and those change depending on what you're doing. So at the moment we're full privacy mode. So all those LEDs are set to red. And then if I take it out of privacy mode, then they go blue because I'm actually active on a call right now. Uh, if you go mute, then you know it's all red, meaning that it's not picking up the microphone anymore. So it's kind of got color signals for everything that you want to do everything that you need to see from the end of the conference room table so you know kind of what's going on with the unit. You know, is it listening? Is it not? Are we live? Are we not? Well, this, this tells you all. So we're live at the moment um, and I'll leave it live. We'll switch over to the call, but that's really all of the hardware now I think I've got covered. Uh, this doesn't actually, it looks like it rotates. It doesn't, but let's have a look. I don't know where to look, there's so many cameras going. So on this screen, if I'm looking at you guys on the, uh, on the screen recording, this frame that you can kind of see in that in the main area is what the eMeet is seeing. So now that we've done all the LEDs and I've kind of told you what uh, those do, I'm gonna turn this around because the camera naturally wants to face this way by default. So the mode that we have it in now is like single person. We're on a single person call. Hey, good to see you. Of course, I might be looking at that or I might be looking at the other person. Now I'm gonna call with Mike. Mike is actually my iPad Pro hiding under a beanbag over there. So um, I'm gonna call with Mike, um, but I have made myself the largest frame. So this is kind of what the person at the other end will see. Now, the four modes that, I, that, um, that we'll go through that this has right now, this is single person mode. When I hit this, it's gonna to go to, right, that is kind of full frame, full field. So this is taking in everybody sitting around the conference table and it has that panoramic view at the bottom. Now it gets way cooler than this. Now I can, with the remote, the button that I told you about that we were gonna play with, I can hide that panorama at the bottom of it's freaking everyone out. So now it's just me. Okay, I'll go through the other two modes and then I'll come back to this one and I'll try and trick it, right? So this view is less of the panorama and it's really just all about you know a single frame. So this will not, with AI, this won't split the frame. And I kind of gave the secret away there of the other one, but this this is just, this is a wide angle. You can also, again, hide that bottom bit if you just want it. So if there were a few of you sitting, just you know, two or three of you sitting around the edge of the board table, speaking to the camera, this is what it would look like. Now, the camera's facing straight up, but through the power of like technology, it's kind of creating quite a good picture of the room. The light in here, I know that I've got, you know, a key light here and a fill light here, but it's not particularly bright. It's quite dark in the room. So if there's a little bit of noise in the picture, it's probably because of my lighting um, more than anything else. And I have to tell you, in the boardroom, I was super impressed with the audio pickup. 
It's got, I think it's got one, two, I think it's got uh, one, two, three, four, six or one, two, <laughs> I think it's got six or eight uh, microphone array. I should know that. Uh, it's a six or eight microphone array, but it's really good at picking it up. And then because the speakers are down here, when you're talking and they're talking, there isn't that awkward uh, 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 as the microphone's trying to be like, oh, am I listening to my speaker? Or am I listening to this person speaking? I don't know what to do. And then they're speaking and then it gets all kind of jumpy and it's super awkward and no one feels happy. With this, it was like, it was just like talking. It was like, it was the most natural conversation I've had on a conference call ever. Like it just flowed, the, the duplex nature, there, was, there wasn't a two person problem people were talking around the table and it just sounded great. So thumbs up for that. So that's, sorry, that's the third mode. The fourth mode is just wide, wide angle and no, uh, no bottom. That's just single frame. And you can see on the screen when you change modes, it just kind of pops up there as well. So that is, uh, you know, that's the extent of that. So what I'll do now is we'll switch back to single and then we'll go back to that wide angle and then I'll make a fool of myself trying to pretend that I'm three people because I couldn't find three people that were willing to uh, play this game with me. Now, the wide angle at the bottom, I'm gonna leave because the theory of that is it shows you the full table, 360 degree table, and then at the top, it starts to zero in on whoever's talking. So, if I was sitting around a board table and I was talking, then I might be here. But let's say that Bill is over here and Bill wants to be in the call too. But I'm still in the call in the middle here, as well as Bill. But then as well as Bill and me, there's also Mary. Hi Mary, are you in the call? I can't see you. Oh, there you are Mary. Oh, there's me. Oh, but we've still got Bill and we've still got Mary. And so what the camera has done is it's split. It's heard three voices in the room location wise and it's split that frame into three using AI. So even though we are on opposite sides of the table, this camera is picking up the person sitting to my left, the person way sitting into my, and, the, and it could be that someone's sitting on the other side of the table. So if I trick it and I flip it around like this and I keep talking, right? So now we're looking at me, but if I keep talking, that flipped over and it picked me up again. So wherever you're sitting around the table, and let's pick that up again. Oh no, Bill, you're still there. Yeah, Bill's still there. Yep, Mary's still there. And I'm still here in the middle. Ah, we lost Bill. That's because Bill doesn't talk a lot. Whew. Wasn't too bad, was it? I think you get the picture. I think I've, I think I've demonstrated that okay. I think that's a win. Give me a like if you thought that that was suitable enough to understand how great this is in the boardroom. And of course, at the end of the call, at the end of the call, whatever's happening, if you are like in the middle of the call and need some privacy, or you're just kind of done and you're about to shut down, you hit that privacy button and the whole thing shuts down and the microphone's mute and you are safe to say whatever you want to say about the person you just did a call with, but now you know that they're not going to hear you, uh, but not that you would ever say anything after a conference call that would be upsetting for anyone. Or... So I think I've showed you as much as I can uh, and, you know, made a sufficient idiot out of myself. I wish I could have um, done all of this in the boardroom, um, but it just wasn't, uh, you know, it's hard to get people to volunteer for that kind of activity, but you can kind of see, you know, what I'm talking about. The only criticism I really have is that sometimes, you know, someone is talking for a little while before they get joined into the conversation. But as you saw, once they're joined in, it kind of holds on to them for a little while in case they're gonna say something else before it releases them, assuming that maybe they've decided to opt out or they've had their say. So the e-meet meeting capsule, if you have any more questions, please fire them in the comments below. Obviously, if this has been helpful for you, I would love you to click something around here that um, makes uh, people happy, uh, me happy. Uh, but if you, yeah, just if you have questions, ask, because um, I, I'm more than happy to answer them. And this is really such a great unit um, that I'm quite happy to just keep talking about it all day long. Have a great day. Stay safe, whatever you're doing. I hope you're keeping warm wherever you are and I look forward to talking uh, with you again soon. Have a great evening and really thanks for watching because I really appreciate your time. Bye for now.